How's it going, folks? I'm your host with the mostly wicked it's Joker in all the land, and today, today we are back with more Stella Glow. But before we get started, if you guys could go ahead and ninja the crap out of that like button, you already know that your support is appreciated. So, last episode, last episode, we finally beat the huge angel in the town square after like eight epi- no, was it? Was- I don't even remember. It all kind of blurred together, honestly. I think it was probably only four episodes. That was probably the better part of a week's upload of fighting that thing. Holy crap. Anyways, guys, before we get started, you know how it goes. Go ahead and ninja that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you've liked what you saw so far. If you're on episode 30, um, 40 something, I don't know. I haven't numbered these. I have no idea where we're at in the timeline for videos. Um, it's, yeah, I'm, yeah. So if you're this far in and you've stayed with me this long and my, my, Whatever this is, thank you. By the way, thank you, all of you. There's a couple of you that I've interacted with regularly, and I just I just want you to know, thank you. Thank you for being you. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and start the story and hopefully finally find out everything. I thought we knew most of it by now, but apparently not. We're going to find out more. So yeah, we want to save. Let's go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and save here. Yeah. Actually, I don't don't think there'd probably be too much of a problem saving over the top spot, but we do need to grind eventually. I gotta do that on my other DS, because my other DS is the one that I uh, take places and it has the, the walk coins. The Celestial Hymn. Free time, battle time, free time, battle time, battle time, free time, battle time. Wow, this could be a long chapter. No, stop! Hmm? Huh. We have some of Dorothy's, like, little rat dolls there. Alto, save me. Is she having a nightmare? It's all right, Marie. I'm here. Oh, Alto? Were you having a bad dream? Yeah. Sorry for making you worry. I'm okay now. Well, that's good. Anyways... Don't you have an early meeting today, Alto? Oh, I completely overslept. Sorry, Marie, I have to go. See you later, Alto. Well, I did just save the world, so I think I can oversleep a little bit. Don't run in the halls! Uh, Regent Amir! Late for your first meeting? I'm, I'm sorry. It's all right anyways, Alto. Y y yes I'm the public official. War is not an area of expertise for me. Therefore, I wish to leave the handling of the angels to the tuning knights. Alright. If you are ever in need of political sway, call me. I will do everything within my power to help. Thank you. While we may fight on different fields, we can work together to avenge Her Majesty. Yes, sir. Sorry for disturbing you. Go. Your allies await. Dude, like, Amir, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, real talk. Real talk. Amir, like, you looked at him at the beginning. I mean, look at him. He looks scuzzy, right? But no, he's just a guy doing his job. He's, like, a legitimately good guy. You thought he was going to... I did not see Klaus betraying me. I thought this guy would do it. I thought this guy was like, okay, the Anthem program's probably fishy. All right, it's probably going to do something. I thought it would be Amir. No, Amir's just a hard-ass making sure the trains run on time in the kingdom. What? Ooh, he's a, he's like an all right decent dude, and then and then when fucking fucking the witch of fisting um what's what's his name fucking Archibald when Archibald is uh fucking down and out and Emir's like fine fuck it give me your sword give me your armor get the fuck out of here I'll do it myself I was like what the fuck I love this guy this guy this guy he's a prick but he just wants to make sure the trains run on time. Rant over. Sorry I'm late. You should be. You aren't <laughs> worthy to leave if the first thing you do is to be late. I guess it's time for me to take your place and... What are you saying? The general always arrives last. 
Alto. Uh, no. Commander, all tuning knights are present. Hey, don't start with that now. Just call me Alto like before. But you are no longer a simple knight. No, I am just a knight. My title may be different, but that doesn't mean I've changed. And this is no different than the ninth. This team belongs to everyone. Wow, <laughs> how humble and modest. What an impressive mindset to have. I expect nothing less from Mr. Aww. Alto. What's with this weird half-assed hand-holding? We came here because we heard it from a strategy meeting. It's not hand-holding. Isn't it better to be friendly than to be all cool to everyone? She's right, Dante. I'm happy that you guys are our allies now. You're happy? I don't get <laughs> you. Let's cut the chatter and start planning our next move already. And really? This wimp is our leader now? Hilda's a million times more qualified to be the leader. Dorothy, I did say that you are to leave if you can't obey him. I didn't say I couldn't. I'll do anything you tell me to do. Then be quiet and listen. Okay. So, what are we gonna do now? We only have one option. We go to the moon and destroy the mother. Destroy it. That said, we don't know what we must do to get to or fight it. That's where I'd like to rely on your guidance, Hilda. Very well. What we need to fight the moon is the celestial hymn. A hymn? Namely, a quintet of witches. It's what Elcrest and the previous witches used long ago. A quintet? So, like the anthem with one more person? But we failed with the anthem. It wasn't a failure. It was a resounding success. You successfully dispelled my song of ruin, after all. Even so, the eclipse started. That was due to the musical score that Zeno collected. An ensemble is a large influx of power. A score determines its use. The anthem had code weaved into its music to undo crystallization. Then what about the score for the Celestial Hymn? It's code, written to resist the Mother and destroy the angels. That score... Where is it? It was divvied, so that no single person would misuse its power. I possess one part of it, but I don't know if And we only have 29 days I'm sure to find Veronica it. Veronica does, though. Why would Lady Veronica know of such a thing? You can ask her directly. She should be here shortly. All right. Then let's take five here. We'll resume the meeting when the doctor arrives. Alto. You're still here, Hilda? What's on your mind? As promised, I will tell you everything. Come to the tuning hall when you're ready. I have to go to the tuning hall with Hilda after my free time is over. <sighs> I bet get, better get the errands out of my way before then. Free time times three! Uh, new goods are available. Bianca, yada. New refinements. Okay. Let's see what's what's going on here. Hey, Alto! <laughs> I'm reopening my shop. Lots of stuff happens, but I can't just stay cooped up inside. I'm no loser. I'm going to stand up no matter what hits me. So, I hope you can stop by a bunch. Nice. Yo, Alto. Uh, I don't want to do a part-time job. I just want to see what he has. No, no. <laughs> She's so adorable. Come back. No, it's my, my my feels, man. Night Barracks. Let's see who's available now. Okay, so we got Lizette. We got you in. We got Morty Mort. We got Dante, and we've got Hilda. Yeah, let's go ahead and hang out with Hilda. She is the probably most interesting character as of now. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm sure you must be busy. Oh, don't worry about it. I wanted to talk to you some more anyways. Talk to me? I'm curious. What did you plan to talk about? Huh. Well, I was wondering, uh, what you think of the capital. And... I wanted to make sure you were doing all right. <laughs> it sounds like you're worried about me. It's hard not to be. 
I owe you a lot for agreeing to join us. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable here. I'm fine. There's nothing causing me discomfort. It's actually been quite some time since I felt this at peace. So, I wanted to thank you. Me? Yes. Aww. I'm truly grateful to you for deciding to accept us. It must be difficult to be teaming up with myself and the Harbingers. Even I would never have imagined we'd be side by side once again. You don't need to thank me. Your knowledge is really useful, and your determination inspires us all. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I'm thankful you're here, Hilda. You're really... What? You're really good at showering people <laughs> with unwarranted praise. It's not unwarranted. The actions you took are what made me trust you, Hilda. So you don't need to thank me. I just want you to be okay. <laughs> if you say so. Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm serious about this. By the way, I remember finding you here once before. Is it important to you? Hmm, I'm not sure. It just calms me down somehow. Up here, I can observe people without having to interact Creepy. with them. I never realized, but I seem to have a habit of finding places like this. Oh. I should head back. Thank you for your time. Hilda! What is it? Some places are still ruined from the attack, but this city is really nice. If it's all right, I'd like to show you around a bit next time. I want you to enjoy yourself while you're here with us. I'll consider it. It's a promise! You sense a bond for me with Hilda. Your affinity with Hilda has increased. Hilda's acquired... Ooh. Ooh. Hilda has acquired a new ability. Recover SP at the end of turn. Hilda acquired added effect. New support plea. What? What? That's so good. Wait, what? Um, okay. Hilda, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm drinking tea on the porch. That sounds like something a grandma would do. Are you calling me a grandma? I guess you're not up with the times. Huh. Okay. Oh, I can't talk to Sakiya. Dorothy or Dante? Dorothy or Dante? I want to know what's Dorothy. Like, what's going on with Dorothy? Like, what is what is her like thing? Dorothy, can <laughs> I talk to you? No, I'm super busy. Get out of my way. She seems to be causing you quite the headache. I'm sorry about all this. Hilda, I wonder if she hates us so much because we used to be enemies. It's not your fault. It's her own problem. No. It's because of me. You, Hilda? The only thing that's important to her is being useful to me. I continually affirmed that. Otherwise, her aggression would be too dangerous. There was no need for that to change while we were Harbingers. Hilda. Being with you makes me realize more and more of my mistakes. I only desired battle. I never taught her how to interact with others. Because of me, she never had the chance to learn those ordinary life lessons. It's not too late for her to pick up on it, though. A lack of knowledge is easy to fix. You don't need to regret it yet. Are you sure? You're the one she rejects, after all. I figure if she's causing trouble, that at least means she's interested. It's actually kind of... adorable. If you think of it like that. Indeed. I should have expected you to say that. Could you look out for her? Don't go out of your way. Just when you see her. Of course. I'll do what I can. Well, I guess I should go start looking for her again. And oh! Dorothy! Hold on a second! Don't follow me, weirdo! <laughs> There's something I need to ask you. You were the one who put mustard all over the cake in the dining hall, right? I don't get it. Why are you mad? Purple cake is super weird. 
I made it cuter. Well, purple cake looks like it could be poison, but it's not. It's just how Lizette makes them. And because of you, nobody can eat it. You can eat it all alone. I'm just happy I got to decorate it. Though you might die if you eat it. <laughs> that would suck. You're crazy. Anyway, enough about me. Go back and apologize to Lizette. Don't touch me! Get away from me, you freak! Ugh! What are you thinking? Taking out your weapon right now. <sighs> Don't think you can tell me what to do just because Hilda likes you. I'm only here because Hilda asked me. I don't need to listen to you. I don't care about stupid knights. I'm not gonna follow your orders. I sent some pond for me with Dorothy. Okay. That's what you call it. <laughs> Dorothy has acquired a new ability. May attack before enemies. Dodge support. Dodge! She's a brat, that's what she is. She needs an ass kicking. You're here. So, you're gonna tell me about what happened a thousand years ago, right? I won't tell you. I'll show you. Show me. Tune me all to... Well... She moves quick. Tune me, and I will show you the regnant of days long past. Oh my. that English censorship back there. Not that I blame them too terribly much. GBH, high and low. I just thought it was kind of funny. Especially when you get stuff like that. <laughs> Especially when she's technically older than every character in the game, with the exception of Veronica and Alto. Welcome to my soul. Hilda. Tell me what happened in the past. What happened a thousand years ago? Very well. Aw, she's all broken inside. Unknown location. Is this? Regnant. One thousand years prior. They'll arrive shortly. So this is the Yggdrasil. Wait, the Tree of Life? Huh. Getting Nordic in here. We can reach God if we ascend this tree then. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just doesn't look right. Yeah, no doubts there. It's like Alto, but he's... Dr. It's Veronica? like Alto, but he's got like this deep voice. He's like... Yes. I am Alto. Hmm. <laughs> Not really. I am Elcrest, but I have a baby face. I sound like I have a voice that should belong to somebody who looks like Klaus or uh, the Witch of Fisting. But I am trapped in this small child's body with this voice, this manly, manly voice. No need to be surprised. She is like me, one who has lived through time. And there. The witches of that era. Francisca of the water. Millicent of the wind. Kayade of the fire. And Ukuna. They of just the kind of look like our the witches from a thousand characters. years ago. So it's finally happening. I wonder what God looks like. We're not here for sightseeing, you two. But it's still interesting to talk about. This should be everyone. Let's start heading... Elk! Z 
Sino, is something wrong? I'm going Whoa. with you to the moon. Don't be reckless. You are Regnant's king. If something happened to you, who would look after the kingdom? The kingdom has no future if we don't cast out the angels. And besides, hmm? I cannot sit back on the throne while a friend courts death. We gave our word. You are their sword, and I their shield. And do not say you forgot. All right. We'll see this through together, Sino. That's more like it. Let's go, everyone. This is the decisive battle. And then... So that's Sino. Klaus's true form. He and Elk were the best of friends. <gasps> My bro. Up until that moment. My bro. I'm advancing the time. Why would you do that, Klaus? Why? Why? It still hurts. It's still fresh. <laughs> and he stabbed my waifu in the chest. He stabbed my waifu in the chest, too. I was gonna be king. I was, like, singing, Oh, I just can't wait to be... Every time I hung out with Anna, but... <sighs> then Klaus literally, literally stabbed that in the chest. <sighs> Killed those dreams. Keep your eyes open and bear witness to what will transpire here. This is Mother Qualia. So, we finally meet. Are you saying that this is God? That's no God. It's just a stone. Are you implying that this is what controls the angels? Elk. Our goal is but one. To halt the eclipse that ravages Regnant. To that end, we shall destroy Mother Qualia. Ready yourself, Elk. Ladies, it's time to start. Sing the celestial hymn and end the reign of this false god. So what happened? We cornered the mother. However... Did we do it? Victory is... <laughs> what? A girl in a place like this? like this let's play come on won't you play with me Elcrest? Elk! <laughs> she's contaminating Elcrest with negative emotions he won't last much longer move away elk it'll kill you but if i don't destroy her here pull back Without you, we can't complete our song. We have to save Elk! But we can't get near him! Hilda. Zeno. Look after Elk. What are you... Kings that follow, but there's only one conductor. Fall back. Take Elk with you. Ugh. We won't leave you. Hurry, Zeno. Take my hand. Warp us out of here, Hilda. Zeno's beyond saving. We'll withdraw as he says. No, Zeno's a friend. We can't leave him. Then do you want us all to die here? Can't you see that we can only avenge him if we all survive? <laughs> Hurry! Get going already! 
But Hilda! Transporting now. Look after Elk. And be victorious next time. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Zeno. Zeno, forgive us. No! Zeno! Now, kill me and be done with it. I won't kill you. I'm gonna make you into my pretty doll. What are you... We should be fine this far out. Put him down. in there. Elk, no! Don't die on us! We have to save him! Can't you do something, Akuna? I don't know if I can. Everyone... Is anyone hurt? Elk! Don't lose yourself, please! Hilda, you need... To kill me. Kill me. Along with these dark emotions. I can't do that! But we can't leave him like this. I won't be controlled by the moon. I refuse. If I'm going to hurt someone, I would rather die here and now. You can't. Zeno gave his life to save yours. But Elk will contaminate the world at this rate. Then what are we supposed to do? Leave that to me. You have a plan? I'll put him to sleep, a deep slumber within the waters, until his emotions are purified. Are you kidding? Do you know how long that's going to take? Five hundred years. Maybe more. I'll watch over him. Stop it! Don't! If you do that, you'll... Even if my life ceases to be, the water quality oh. will protect you. Stop! Fred! No! Hilda, I have a favor to ask. This world, keep it safe. This suffering must never be repeated. What? Hilda, listen carefully. This is something only you can accomplish. I understand. I'll protect this world you love so much. No matter who becomes my enemy. No matter what I must sacrifice. Thank you. Beloved Elk, you have done well. So let us rest together until the day comes when your soul will shine again. That's Anna's voice. This is goodbye for now. be waiting for your return no matter how long it takes years centuries Aww. I'll still be there for you That was everything that transpired 1,000 years ago. So I slept until my soul was purified. For a thousand years. Even after Francisca passed on, the water qualia kept watch over you. You awakened when the purification was complete and met Lizette. That's why I had the water qualia with me. I see. So that's what happened. You don't seem very shocked. I am surprised. It's just 
Hard to believe this is the reality. Still, a lot of things make sense now. I see you guys started without me. Dr. Veronica! I told Alto everything, so I see. Please, lend us your strength, Dr. Veronica. We need the score for the Celestial Hymn. Even with it, Elk was defeated. We won't lose. We will succeed this time. And your reasoning is? I don't have one. What the heck's with that illogical way of thinking? That's exactly why we need your knowledge and expertise, Doctor. You don't say. Well, all right. I was going to say something anyway. For now, I advise you head to the Narakiv Crater. What will we find? <laughs> That's a secret. Well, I'll see you there. I guess we have to go. Yeah. Let's gather everyone. <laughs> so, where are we going? Nerevarok Ner Crater. I just heard the name and I can't say it. Nervarok Crater? I thought that place was sealed off years ago by the royal family! Oh, uh, well, that's where Veronica is. <sighs> it should be. I don't know what's waiting for us, but if you're willing to fight, I'd like you all to come with me. Come on, Alto. You're the leader of this night squad. You need to give the orders, not make suggestions. It seems we actually agree on something for once, Keith! We're best friends now! Alto, we await your orders. You guys... Alright, let me try this again. Tuning Knights, we will now depart for the Crater. The Nerevarine Crater. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode of Stella Glow. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below, and like always, stay frosty. <laughs>